If you guys like this video, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Check out my channel, I post a new video every day. But uh, jumping right into this, you guys, okay? This is something that, this is, this, this is, this will be a turning point in your career, all right? This will stop, change you from being a defensive wrestler to an offensive wrestler. Now, being scared to shoot, of being afraid to shoot, why are you scared to shoot? Why are you personally scared to shoot when you're in a match? All right, I'll tell you the reasons why I was scared to shoot. When you're taking a shot, you're in, you're in an extremely vulnerable position. All right, you can get put on your back really quickly. You can get embarrassed really quickly. All right, if everything doesn't work out perfectly. All right, and it's, it's hard to be confident doing this, no matter how many times you've practiced, if you, like, like, most wrestlers are blatantly aware that defending is so much easier than like actually being aggressive in wrestling. For a takedown to work, so many things have to work perfectly. They have to work in perfect succession. If you don't do those things or you don't have backup plans for everything, like when it works in perfect succession, then like you're gonna get like, you're not gonna get the takedown and it's just gonna be a bunch of wasted energy. All right, so that being said, that being said, it is very difficult to be confident in just a straight shot, all right? It is very difficult to be confident in being like, all right, I'm gonna step on the mat and take this guy down. What it is easy to be confident in is your setups, all right? And the way that I do this, the way that I would, like, I would, like, you can, like, the second you see it, you have to do it, all right? It, it, like, you have to, you have to be able to see opportunities. You have to see the opportunities for the setup when they open up, all right? Setups come to you. Setups come to you through your opponent's mistakes, or you can force them. All right, when you force them, it's you're a lot more vulnerable than when your opponent comes to you and opens him up, himself up for a setup. An opening for a setup looks like when your opponent reaches his arm and his elbow goes either level or above his shoulder. All right, the second this happens, you should be going behind his elbow and popping up like this, which, whichever arm it is. If it, it if it's one or it's both, it doesn't matter. All right, if you can do this to one arm, then you can take him down. All right, if you can do this, then you can take him down. All you have to do is hit this as hard as you can and just be 100% sure. Like, literally just hit a, hard, a shot as hard as you can. Commit fully, commit 100% because like there is no, like you, the odds of you failing go from like 3% to 85%, I swear. Like, like, the, like, cause first things first, they're gonna think to like bring their arm down and you're already gonna be on their legs, all right? So this is why setups are so important, okay? That, that's just an idea of like a, of like a, a mental cue to have. Like, th that's one that I personally had is whenever anyone started reaching, I shot every time. Whenever anybody started reaching, I shot every time. If they would, uh, if I felt like I didn't really have much, a really good setup and I hit this, I, I hit the setup and I got in on their legs, all right, on Nick Wanzak in, in a wrestling camp, okay? And I'm not saying I took him down, I'm not saying any of that, but I got in on his legs and he was probably, he's probably, I was a junior in high school and he was the best wrestler I had ever wrestled to this point. So the fact that it worked on him is a testament to how good this technique is, all right? All you have to do is take your hand and stick it on their face. All right, you just stick it on their face, all right? And depending on what they do, generally, 99% of the time, the kid will grab your wrist and try to pull it. He, he'll grab your wrist and try to control it, right? Because you're gonna resist a little bit. He, you're, he's gonna grab your wrist and try to like push it off. All right, and when he does that, right, when he grabs your wrist, you're gonna pull it this way, and then when his arm's right here, you're gonna take your other arm and arm drag it the other way. All right, so he's like this, it goes this way and then this way or whatever, you know what I mean? Just make sure you, like you pull one arm and then you pull it another way or you pull it one way, you know what I mean? Like, like even if you go the same way, even if you go like this or you go like this, you know what I mean? Like it's gonna work, it's gonna work. And like this, this is a really good setup. And as soon as you feel yourself going through this motion, you have to like, just do it really quick and then shoot, okay? Because like, just be confident in your ability to set up because if you don't feel a setup work, then just the setup didn't work. You, you will, 
Like, like you know when the setup didn't work. You you know when the setup didn't work. You know when you didn't hit behind his ang his elbow. You know when like you know you know you know what I mean. And you can do it really fast. And you can know really fast. However, like like as soon as you know that this setup is working, as soon as you feel that like this is working, you have to be a thousand percent confident in your shot. You have to hit the hardest shot that you have ever hit. You want to we want this to be the last shot you shoot in the rest of this match. Okay, you want this to be the last shot that you shoot for the rest for the rest of this match This is supposed to take him flat to his belly or to his back All right, so and what setups what setups are designed to do is It distracts your opponent mentally. All right, it makes him think like oh, I got to defend this hand I got to step I, I got to defend stepping this way when really He's got to defend a shot. Okay, when really you're coming after his knees. You're coming after his ankles. You're coming after his legs Okay like with this, like with the setups and with the shot, you just remember, all right, it's head position first. They defend with their head first, all right? A good wrestler can defend a shot with his hands behind his back, all right? Just using head position, just forehead into his head and you're going to stop the man, all right? After that, you have to get past the hands. If you can get past the hands, then you can get past the head, all right? For the most part, for the most part, people can't. People can't defend from an arm drag with their head. All right, you need to get below their head. You have to get past their arms, and you have to explode faster than they can sprawl. Faster, like this is all happening completely off guard, completely just like you know what I mean. You do, and like you have to have a ton of setups in your arsenal to have these cues. All right, a good idea for cues to find is like when your coach tells you not to do something, you have to recognize when someone else does that. All right, when you're, if your coach is getting mad at you for doing something constantly, he's like, you gotta stop reaching, you gotta stop reaching. It's for a reason, it's for, it, it has a good reason. All right, and you have to recognize when someone else does that and you have to make him pay for it, okay? If your coach is getting on to you about getting high on their hips or get, you know what I mean? If your coach is getting on to you about anything, you have to recognize when someone else is doing it doing it and take advantage of it you have to capitalize on those things that's just that's just bro okay remember pass the head move the hands shoot at the legs and just drive you want it to be your last shot i hate shooting i hate shooting but i get takedowns because i hate shooting all right i just want to take you down get you on the ground and start scoring points and pin right that's all you want all right if you like that video hit the like button hit the subscribe button check out my channel i post a new video every day at nine but until next time i'll see you guys 